Thanks for checking out this unboxing episode. Um, this is the BAM box, believe it or not, the May BAM box. Sorry, I had to think for a minute because it is June and this is the May BAM box. Yes, they are late once again. Uh, if you don't remember, the April one ended up coming out in May and now the May one's coming out in June. They've had some issues with some product uh, getting out in time, uh, which to me isn't a huge deal, honestly. I know there are some people who get kind of upset with it. Uh, I do know at least for their um, big delay that they had for their April box, they are putting something additional in the June box. So the next box after this that I do, there should be that additional item. I don't know that they're doing anything to make up for the delay of the May box. They might not because it's not like crazy late. And like I said, it really doesn't matter to me. But I am excited for that extra item in the June, the June box, so that'll be fun. Um, the theme of this May box is Defend Space Edition. So with May having been what it is, you can safely assume there's a Guardians of the Galaxy item in there which they had already promised, so I'm excited about that. Other than that, I don't remember what else they said would be in here. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, and then I don't know what. Um, you might say, that looks weird as a BAM box. Yeah, uh, I know they're looking for a new de box design, and I think they were having some voting on some, um, some designs that were submitted by fans uh, slash subscribers of the BAM box. So, um, hopefully they have a new design soon, because when I saw this, I was like, that's not a BAM box. I figured they would just have, like, more of their current design, but they went with something plain, which is just weird and just threw me off, but hopefully they they have some cool new design soon. Sorry, the uh, this is, I'm doing this on a laptop, so it kind of, like, bounces when I'm doing that kind of stuff. So, let me open this up. Put this away. And not stab myself that would be nice all right here we go there's a piece of paper on the top I don't know if there's some sort of disclaimer or saying this is what happened or whatever but under construction okay so it says pardon our progress this is obviously not the band box you are used to seeing that is because we were redesigning the box okay so now they're explaining why it looks like this uh, next month, you'll see a new inside design of the box, and the month after that, you may see a new, yet familiar-looking design style to the box. Next month's design will be from the person who wins the design contest running on the community right now. For now, accept this plain box, knowing what's inside will be worth it. Hopefully. And then they have, like, the construction tape and, you know, all that, so... I mean, it's good that they at least give you a heads up on it. I don't think they really needed to. It's just a plain box, but... It, it's the thought that counts with that. And I know there are a lot of boxes that probably wouldn't even, you know, have bothered. So, obviously, tissue paper. Cat's going to love it. Chloe, come get it. Oh, she's got a twofer this time. It's a twofer. Whew, she's going to be psyched. Psyched. All right, just because it's on top, let's go ahead and do the pin first. Oh, this is from... Damn it. Oh... Uh... Battlestar Galactica, Buck Rogers, I don't know. Something in space from a long time ago. Like it look the robot looks familiar, but I just can't I can't place it right now. See? Feel free to, to tell me what I'm missing in the uh oh there there's better lighting when I turn it like that. In the comments, feel free to let me know who this is. Like, I know I know what it looks like. I know I've seen portions of this show at some point when I was young. But I just can't. I want to say old Battlestar Galactic or, or Buck Rogers. or. But I may very well be wrong. But um, once again, like, the pin is very well designed. Once again, I wouldn't care to have this particular pin. I'd be interested to see what the other options were. So, Ew. so we have something... Something small in here. Let me just pull that out. Oh, oh, that's really cool, actually. It's a film cell from Guardians of the Galaxy. It says Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, so I don't know if it's an actually a film cell from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Um, yeah, the Certificate of Authenticity right on it. It's an actual licensed Marvel product. That's really cool. Uh, let me see if I can see what... Oh, that's sweet. So the cell I got was just a picture of... Well, I mean, a, a scene, a cut when it's Gamora and Drax just in the ship. 
and it looks cool, like legit. Uh, it says, after his heroic sac sacrifice during the culmination of the Guardian's first adventure, the tree-like being known only as Groot is now in the process of regrowing his body from a single twig. Though once a towering giant, Groot's current, more diminutive form is more akin to a sapling than a redwood. Still, he remains an important, if now, more mischievous member of the Eclectic Guardians. So I assume he's in the scene that the film sells from, but I can't see that because... I don't even think you're going to be able to tell. Well, if I take it out of here, I'm not going to take it out of here. I want to keep it in there. But let me see if, you, if I can get it. You probably aren't going to be able to tell. Maybe you can kind of see. Yeah, it's too hard to. But you got your little group there. And But this is cool. This is an awesome item. I really like getting these types of things. Um, it's a really fun, nice thing, especially when they're licensed like this. Uh, I love film cells. I think film cells are really cool. So I like that. I like that a lot. Next thing might be the art print, I believe. Oh. Okay, this is actually cool. Um, so this must be their art print. Yes. And it's licensed with, uh, and it's done by artist Chris Garofalo. And it is number 731 out of 3000. It's an art print of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds. So at first I just saw War of the Worlds and I was like, no, not the crappy one with, with uh, Tom Cruise in it. But no, it's like original War of the Worlds, like actually good story, not crappy movie War of the Worlds. That's really well done. It looks really cool. It's very nice. It's classy. It's classic. Um, that's cool. That's nice. I like that. I like that quite a bit. It's really well done. Next thing, I guess this will be the autograph. Oh, that's right. Okay. So it's an 8x10 photo, hand signed by Tom Kane, who voices Yoda in the Star Wars Clone Wars show. And certificate of authenticity in there. Oh, that's totally cool. I don't watch Star Wars Clone Wars, but for anyone who does, this is pretty exciting and awesome. I might be able to give this to someone. I know some people who watch the show sorry for the glare people so you can see a little better there it's the autograph yeah it's pretty cool that's a good idea i like it and i think that was it all right so let's see oh they're back to their regular booklet i think last last uh the last one it was just like one sheet i don't know if they were like running out of time or what happened there so there's a spoiler booklet like i said defend space edition Looks good. Let's go through. Oh, it was all the same pin. Twicky the robot. Buck Rogers. Okay, I was right. I threw out two things. I was right about one of them, so that's good. Uh, they had some special limited edition ones, you can see. But So I'm not huge on these. I mean, someone, someone probably is. But, you know. Um, logo patch replica? Uh, no, I did not get one of the items. Uh-oh. Let me check to make sure that I didn't miss something. Or didn't throw it on the ground or something. Nope. Didn't get one of the items. Ouch. Bam box. Dude, 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 dude. You're going to make up for missing an item in the June, but you misplaced one of my items for this box. That is not good. So this is what was supposed to be in there. It's a replica patch. Um, USCSS Nostromo. Uh, in the movie Alien, the USCSS Nostromo was a $42 billion commercial towing vessel, vessel owned by the Wayland yutani Corporation. So this is just, you know, they do these replica things from time to time. That sucks ass that I didn't actually get it. Um, although, I had another box a bunch of months ago where I didn't get the pin, and I sent them a message about getting it out to me, and, and they did, but I don't know, man. Um, it kind of makes me a little hesitant now because they've had these issues with items all of a sudden and things being late, and I was just going to be fine with that. Like I said, that doesn't really bother me that much, but this kind of stuff, missing items in the box, that bothers me because I then have to put in time to contact you 
as a company and say, hey, you forgot to put my item in, and it's a, wa it's a waste of my time, and I hate that. But they're usually good with their customer service, so that's the bright side of the thing. I have dealt with other companies, and their customer service is terrible. So at least they have good customer service, but I'm very let down by this, uh, the fact that I have to send them a message and try and get this thing, and yeah. Plus, you can't actually see me unbox it on this video. That's another downside to it. All right, so next, uh, there were two different versions of the Yoda uh, glossy that you could have gotten with the signature from Tom Kane. Um, I think the one that I got was the least exciting of the two, um, but they're both good. You can kind of see the one down here with the other one. With him with the lightsaber, that looks way cooler. It's more of like, let's get into action. Kind of cool thing. Uh, then the limited edition Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Premiere Cell. And another thing to point about to point out about that um, that movie cell is that it's for a movie that just came out. Like, it's not even on DVD or Blu-ray or anything at this point. So that's impressive to me that they were able to get it and it just came out. That's cool. I like that. Um, yeah, so there's not really much in the text. You already saw that. So that's it. Then... There were just two different versions of the War of the Worlds uh, art prints. Um, I like both of them. So really it's just, I mean, they're about the same. It's just like color differentiation. So it's just kind of what color do you like the most? I think maybe this one's a little more fun, but they're both awesome. They're the same thing. And then they had a giveaway for a Stanley and Kevin Smith signed Daredevil comic. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't really do the giveaways just because, I don't know, they, you have to do all sorts of social media type stuff and it just seems like a pain to me. Um, but that's that's a cool giveaway item. And then next month is going to be Heroes and Villains Unlikely Heroes, which is kind of a confusing t t theme because it says Heroes and Villains Unlikely Heroes. I guess the villains are also heroes in a sense. I don't know. We'll see though. Um, so yeah, so that will be next month hopefully it's not late and hopefully all the items are there but other than that um i do think this was a very solid box this is a very nice box other than that i don't think the pin was the best idea because you're really not going to hit all that many people who are really into this particular show but there will be some people who are excited obviously the film saw i talked enough about that pretty impressive really cool um that's just that thing this is good for plenty of people because i know a lot of people who actually watch this show and this art print's really nice and really well done. So overall, I'm happy with the box, not happy with missing the item. Don't really care that much that it came late. But at any rate, thank you everyone for checking this out. Let's see what's in the next one with that additional item. And until next time, keep it brutal.